Hi fam, it's Dylan's mum, Deborah. This is Dylan Friend. He gives you a back rub. This is, you know, you're going well, Brian. Oh, it's special. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Just keep showing up and find a way. Cam was so nervous he couldn't swallow water. Handed him a sheet of paper with six names and said, Chief, we've got to cut these six blokes. Wow, shut up. I've just been barbed by a stingray, mate. I'm just yelling, oh, you saved my life, you saved my life, you saved my life. Thank you, thank you. I spent the last, I think it was a couple of weeks in jail. The deepest, darkest moments often bring about our biggest highs. Yes, boys, welcome to Dylan Friends. Harley Reid, Nick Watson, how are you, boys? Hey, good, thanks. Yourself? Good. <laughs> Going well. How Going are you? Well. How are we? I'm excited to have you boys in. This is special. Um, this is this is big news. Darcy's a big fan. We've got Steve on the building too. How are you, Steve? <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> um, last day of school today? Yeah. Congrats, man. Yeah, keen. Keen to get out of there. Congratulations. Yeah, what was your favourite feeling. subject? Uh, business. Yeah, it's a business mate, it's man. I like that. <laughs> Harley, how are you? Yeah, going well, thank you. Big morning this morning? Yeah, it has been. Has been big. What yep. were you doing? I was just meeting my good friend in Sam, so that <laughs> Sam. was good. <laughs> so you went to a breakfast this morning for those yeah, out who I don't sure know. Did. You've got a bit of a riff with Sam McClure at the moment, one of our <laughs> reporters here. Obviously, he's at Channel 9. He does a podcast with us as well. He's been saying that... <laughs> what is he saying exactly? Oh, just slips a number two, they reckon. He, he reckons West Coast won't take me at one. So he reckons West Coast don't trade the pick. <laughs> wow. Yep. He's a businessman. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, I reckon West Coast will take him. Okay, there we go. Hey, boys, um, honoured to have you in today. Tra- keen to get through the whole chat of the year. And, yeah, just get to know you. It's been a big year for both of you. Uh, congratulations. Yeah. Looking to get, um, you know, in like, what, six to five, six weeks' time, you yep. both be on AFL list. Yeah, it's yeah, exciting. plans, yeah. How does it feel? Like, is it is it hitting home yet? No, nah, really, I haven't really thought about that much, to be honest. Like, it all starts to hit around about now when all the trade picks start to get um, put through. And, um, yeah, I don't really look too much ahead. I might when I start to get bored at home, but no, I haven't really looked too much into it. Yeah, I'm similar too to that, really. Probably a lot of uncertainty that goes on through the t- through this time and probably figured out last couple couple months it's uncertain time. But um, again, yeah, just trying to soak up the moment, enjoy mm-hmm. the ride, really. And once it, I feel like once it happens, I'll probably I'll probably realise it's it's time and it's quite exciting. But um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty cruisy at the moment and just pretty surreal to be honest as we both probably feel is it even weird to be like you know not that this this platform's a, a massive one but even to be like talking getting you know interviewed yeah, going radio like going, like yeah. it feels, <laughs> feel honored to be be well, here with you across well, the we've, table we've, we've actually i don't know if you know this we've actually already had a falling out yeah, in our we, short yeah. friendship yeah. so uh, friends with benefits now so we, we're very good friends now <laughs> what but we've always been good friends but harley and i we've actually had a few run-ins already he was watching list cloggers he loved the show followed dan but just refused to sort of get around me what, what was that like what no, i don't even know hey eh? yeah oh, was, that comment was good by me. I only thought there was one run of the show. It was, it was pretty funny. <laughs> we talked about that last time at the push pool. Yeah, I had about 300 likes in that comment. Too. Yeah, yeah, you did. Um, speaking of what's to come, we've obviously spoke about the draft and all those bits and pieces. Are you guys watching the trade period at the moment to see, you know, keeping a close eye on what does happen? Obviously, your situation, top 10, top five, wherever that sort of sits. Yeah. Do you know where that is? And then clubs moving picks around. Like, is it yeah. crazy to see what's trying to happen? Yeah, it's um I haven't looked too much in like I just see it on Instagram or something yeah. as the trades go through. But um it was hard to keep track of two days ago when it was all the picks were like travelling around all different um clubs. But um no, nah, I don't look too much into it, but like obviously you still do because it's yeah, it's a draft year and um no, nah, I I don't look um yeah, as I said, I don't look too much into it, probably the same as Harley, but um yeah, is what it is and see what happens at, in twentieth of November crazy do you know where like on a phantom draft at the moment cal Toomey, mm. a good friend he does a, a phantom draft so the yep. great job cal <laughs> yeah, do you know yeah. where you're sort of looking at the moment of where it might go what club has that pick at the moment anyway um who has pick 50 <laughs> hey, i was pick 62 yeah. man, so there's, nothing, yeah. there's nothing wrong with those yeah, good, you can yeah. still find some gems down there yeah. Yeah. you can still find some Stop real good rough. gems <laughs> yeah. so good, love do you know lucky neil was pick 61 yeah, 61 61 yeah right yeah, it doesn't matter what pick you go, eh? Mm. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> so the question was, do you know whereabouts at the moment it is looking yeah. around? Um, yeah, so I sort of know the range. Yep. Um, yeah, sort of like that four to six to seven. Wow. Um, I said ten. I said yeah. that was offensive. He wasn't happy with that. Yeah, I was either, <laughs> was he? <laughs> he wasn't happy with but, that. Um, but yeah, it's sort of around that range, but who knows what can happen. Um, yeah, clubs can trade up for other players and then you sort of get pushed back, but... 
Yeah, it doesn't really matter for Harley. He's just probably watching West Coast or North. <laughs> it is. In all seriousness, it must be a pretty crazy time. We're chatting with Big Steve before about it. Yeah. Like, you guys don't even know what's happening yet with that. Like, whether it is West Coast or North or things yeah. will get traded or another team even could pop up out of nowhere. Like, yeah. it's pretty... Like, normally, a number one draft pick would sort of know where yeah. things are going to lie. Yeah, you in the past. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Like, you, you get people who come ask you, oh, like, do you know where you're going? I'm like, mate... I know as much as you do. Like yeah, I know, yeah, I know from the media, and that's that's where you're getting your information from. So, yeah, again, like I don't like it's hard. Tr- you try, you try to get away from all that stuff, but you you've got people always asking like, "What's the go? Who's in, who's in who's in front?" Like I'm like honestly, I've actually got no clue. Like I find that weird, yeah, because like people think we know everything, yeah, and hundred percent. Normally, people just think, "Oh, you get told through the clubs." Like where you're going and stuff like that but we yeah we know as yeah. much as they do so do you know what's actually interesting as well and maybe you boys will know a lot more than me but um when you're even on an afl list and when you're a player you actually know nothing as well even like when you're at the clubs i've learned so much more recently just from like listening to trade radio on the tradies yeah. podcast all these things of the shit that actually happens because yeah. that they are so tight-knit of like mm. all this stuff that yeah. goes on like i wouldn't be surprised if the weirdest thing happened where you like someone actually bidded for number one or you yeah. went to number three and clubs moves around yeah. like it just goes yeah. mental these days it's changed so much with all the 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 picks and what they can do in the system now with draft yeah. picks and future picks and all that bid stuff with academies obviously we see the suns with all that point system so yeah again like it's 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 a bit different now with all that stuff it's changed in this modern era but um yeah like it's it's exciting i suppose especially Anything in this happen. draft as well this draft's yeah. all over the shop i yeah, reckon for sure so much going on with all yeah the academies and um yeah i feel like it's just all over the shop this draft has it been for you guys this year like you know i was i was again me and, me and steve had a big chat before we we're chatting about like when i was 18 <laughs> like i genuinely couldn't even stay at a mate's house let alone go and move into state or do all these other yeah. bits and pieces and the fact of like someone even talking about me like back then there used to be this thing called big footy that's still around and we'd yeah. all like yeah. go on dial up mate, and Katie, bend, mate, Katie, yeah. <laughs> he scrolls through that every mate, night mate, <laughs> the worst just search his name up scrolls through <laughs> so after every day <laughs> who's this mate Caddy. he goes on yeah. and reads up a fair bit of it yeah. does he oh yeah, fantastic he well it. mate mate I'm with you because I used to do the same thing <laughs> and we used to like go and dial up and like anything that could be potentially written is crazy but you look yeah. at it now and like I knew who you guys were last year like how was it going through your under 18 year even at school like yeah. everything you guys are doing where obviously there is cool size to it like let's not lie like the notability and like it's yeah. you know get a few instagram followers it's, yeah. it's, it's cool being noticed yeah. but there must be challengingness to it as well yeah for sure last year was probably it was a bit you know, it was drained a lot last year it was drained to compare to this year like obviously this year kind of was my profile probably grew a lot throughout that off season and a lot of a lot of articles come out, etc. For for a lot of us boys that were able to have that opportunity to play at a at a younger age, like bottom age, throughout yeah. Vic Country and Vic Metro, as what I would have done. Um, yeah, again, like it's it's you find it hard when you when you when you're out, like you you wanna you wanna go enjoy, have a have a few with your mates or like special occasion with family or so, and you probably don't feel like you get that that isolation and probably you feel like there's someone always watching mm. like um yeah it's it's hard in that in that environment when when you're out and especially like down here or so it's kind of a lot more like like shit like there's Full there's on. people watching like mm. bang but um yeah back home is pretty good like i've got people around me like you can trust everyone back home like i got a good circle of trust <clears> back home so it's good with that but yeah yeah it's- what are you what are Wait, what was the question? Yeah, you're good at this. Um, it, yeah. was, <laughs> it was the one about like, how's it been? Oh, in yeah, under eight? Yeah. Like, yeah. you're what yeah. you're, you're, you're bo- are you boarding at Caulfield or are you? Nah, yeah. nah, I go to the Wheels Hill, Hill campus. So, yeah. um, nah, school's all right. Like, the school side of it's fine. Um, yeah, it's this last year, it started early. Like, we're only young 17 year olds, and yeah. um, obviously, the social media nowadays has grown yeah. heaps. Well, that's what I mean. Like, with ba- like, because mm. you know, baseline, yeah, obviously, yeah. The, shout out to the boys, they do such an yeah, incredible yeah, job. Yeah. Like, and yeah, that's right. it. I feel like I'm watching you guys play every week, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it started. I wish I had that. Man. You, like, <laughs> Everyone says that, I, like, because I did some cool shit back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, like, if I had a high life, so, that would have been cool, like, it would have been really cool. Yeah, it's yeah, sort it of would've. cool seeing like your good highlights on there. But but AFL players don't even get that, yeah, I know, it's sick, yeah, yeah no, but, it's um, cool. They got good camera quality too, they're yeah. got elite set up there, so they've done a great job. Yeah, so it just start, it's just completely different these days. And um, no, you sort of had to deal with it from the start of last year. And like, 
you obviously cop a fair bit as well, especially through like school footy. I know I copped it heaps this year, especially. But um, just because yeah, I'm, I go at plays on the field. And yeah, you're cheeky. Gets, gets posted on baseline, and everyone thinks I'm. <laughs> everyone starts to hate me. So um, no, nah, it's it's fine. Like I deal with it fine now. I've sort of matured up. I feel like, and um, I know how to like yeah deal with social sure. media. Mm. <laughs> Don't you start? Do you reckon <laughs> you'll be? Hey, and I and I think this is a lot a loaded question. I reckon you you definitely will. But that tenacity in your game, like the cheekiness, the mm. that small forward you know type yeah. situation, like will you? bring that do you think you'd be able to bring that straight into league footy yeah i feel like i sort of if i go into a club i gain respect first to like be yeah. able to do get the license like to do that but um now nah, i feel like uh, yeah it's one aspect in my game that's sort of grown over the last two years and um i feel like yeah it's just an add-on to yeah my small forward craft get a bit of check get under play skin and stuff like that mm. i don't mind it no brings a bit it. of energy which is good on a serious note too like i was, I was <clears throat> sort of telling you boys before like there's that back when i um got picked up and a lot of players got picked up there was this sort of notion of like you got to come in and earn your stripes and mm, do that yeah. but like now i see like young players like yourself come in and you come in going like i'm not here to like take part like i'm here to play yeah. round one and yeah. it's not like an arrogant thing it's just yeah. like no that's uh, we're here to do a job yeah, yeah exactly right how do you how do you think about that in your like are you going i'm going to a club next year i want to play round one yeah that's i think all our mindset is um so good and yeah we obviously want to gain respect as well we don't want to come in looking like tosses or anything but um but you sort of like so Funny you say that because when I was um, at the Giants, there was a player there who came in, and you know I was I was on the list, and he came in and straight away. He was just like fight, not fighting, but like being super aggressive. wasn't mm. there to make friends. Was mm. doing his thing, and all the boys were like, "Who the fuck is this bloke? Yeah. Like, who who the hell is this guy? Like, no, you know, the first few months rub people up the wrong way. Yeah, that guy's name is Sam Taylor. He's now like an oh. all Australian fullback. Yeah. He's yeah. one of the best players, the most respected guy in the team. So I think like my advice to you guys is definitely go and yeah. earn respect, but like don't. Be you're not nice. there to make friends, and yeah. you're not there to be intimidated. Yeah. Just go and do your thing. Because at the end of the day. You are competing for spots with people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah obviously, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to change much to what I've been doing over the last 12 months. So what you do is you go to the one place, you just go up and you just punch them straight in the face. <laughs> 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 you just say, like, this is my club now. It's <laughs> a really good way to do it. You happy with that, Steve? Yeah, he's happy with that. <laughs> good. Um, where do you boys get your skills from? Where's Where do you think that that happens? Um, family, you've got brothers, you've mm. got sisters that play footy. Like, where's... The talent come from in the in the family i'd like to think my dad um rowdy yeah rowdy yep um no he's played over 400 games for my local club there and throughout the gb league when they were in it um yeah so obviously probably I'd like to think him and obviously a generational thing too uh with genetics and that i suppose but yeah yeah probably my dad as well and mm. had my older brother around competing in the backyard since a young age and obviously growing up in a footy family um yeah it sort of helped and um yeah, me and Harley played when we were younger in the 12, under 12s Vic. So we sort of just, yeah, we knew what our goal was at the, um, well, obviously where we are now. So you guys have played together since twel under 12s? Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, in the representative yeah. stuff? Yeah, up yeah. in Darwin. So yeah. we yeah. sat at the same apartment too there. So no, we got on from the get-go. Yeah, can't get enough. What here. about um, <laughs> through the AFL Academy? Yeah. How was that experience this year? Where did you guys do? What? Uh, where did you guys go for it? Yeah. Um, what did you do? What were you exposed to? Again, I'm not referring... I don't want to talk about myself a lot, but that... No, I, you're right, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, I look back on that experience and, like, you look at the guys that you come through with and yeah. you, we got to travel to, like, South Africa together and, yeah. you know, play in these incredible games and yeah. do that stuff. Like, they're not even footy memories, but just when, awesome yeah. memories. When you went over, did you just play, like, the Gaelic footy? Because apparently... We played like against South Africa. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> like a footy game? Yeah. Jesus yeah. dropped down from them. Smashed no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. smashed Yeah. 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 Um, um, yeah, so what we headed <laughs> we headed over to Adelaide this year and played against South Africa, uh, Adelaide. They're similar. Yeah, they're they're similar. similar. <laughs> yeah, we played over there the gather round. Yeah, the gather so round. it was oh, it was nice. good. Uh, all the clubs are over there. Um, we played against the Sanford Port Adelaide twos, obviously there. So um, did you was, beat them? Did nah, you beat Carlton? Yeah, we beat Carlton. We did lost. we beat Carlton? Yeah, we beat Carlton. Yeah, um, we lost by not goal, much. So, I think. Yeah. yeah, but um, yeah, no, that was a great experience. Um. It was real weird weather too, wasn't it? Like pissing yeah, down. Yeah, it was pissing then, down. Yeah. It was like four o'clock. It was like real dark. It was yeah. actually scary. Yeah. I remember the bus ride home. The bus yeah, ride yeah. didn't have lights. The bus driver, man, he was... Oh, I was worrying. <laughs> I was holding on to me. Yeah, but um, 
No, nah, it was a good experience. Um, we stayed. Where do we stay? We stayed at some school. School, yeah, it was junk, man. <laughs> it was no good in Adelaide. Yeah. yeah, I had no Wi-Fi in my room. I was pissed. I had to go sleep with Archie Roberts, head to tail. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. Wow. especially with him as well. He's a nightmare. <laughs> what about um? We're talking before about clubs and and where to go. Like throughout, give it people an insight into what that's been like for you guys throughout the year. Like how many meetings. How many sort of like club visits, those sort of things? Do they still happen? Is that like something they come to your house, you go meet yeah. the clubs? Is that yeah. like work? Yeah. So obviously over the last, well, the start of this year, I've probably met with most of them. Um, then probably like the last month and a bit, it's when they probably start coming to your house and probably the clubs start limiting to that because they know what clubs probably are in that range to get yeah. you. So like we had our um, combine last week. Yeah. And um, like we had... We had interviews and over the course of two days, like some cl- some players met with 15 clubs, some, like I met with five clubs, four clubs, mm. like throughout the two days. Like, I feel like it's, a few. you get to that point and you meet them, they get to know you, they come meet you at your own home, um, see, see what it's like, I suppose, and meet your family. And then it probably gradually decreases to who's in your range or whether you're, mm. you're what, 20 to whatever mm. range you're in, you probably, it's where you get more, more clubs you coming out. 20? No, I'm just, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> I was just like, like he would have had the whole, the whole 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. Yeah, and you start to meet the coaches and stuff. On yeah. we met that cool? Yeah, yeah that, that that's like I don't. I reckon as even as an eighteen year old or seventeen year old, like I'm, I'm still scared of coaches to this yeah. day. Like they're yeah. they're confronting people. Yeah. yeah, and you try and crack a joke and you just hope they laugh. Yeah. Did you cry? Did you go with one? Did you? Yeah, what, I went with a few. Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I went with a few. I remember. Try to get Sam Goodwin having a crack, but hey, did he, yeah, he had a laugh? few. Yeah, yeah. Were they know, fake Adam laughs or were they? I don't know if they were yeah. fake. I wasn't looking at him, but yeah. um, Adam Kingsley was very full on. Um, I was pretty. I got on with him actually. Good. Me and him yeah. were just like he, he was just trying to like feed me, but I was just like giving it back to him. Yeah. So we were just both just copping it and laughing. Yeah. But, so um, I got him on the table, arm wrestled him one, so I walked out. <laughs> did you really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah arm wrestled him. Yeah. I got His him. pipes are that big, mate. He's huge. And you beat him in an arm wrestle. You saw me watching this. You got it. <laughs> um, yeah, so coaches and that are the. Yeah, the, it's, the, the I yeah. reckon the combine uh, meetings were a yeah, lot more serious. Was, yeah, yeah, it was so yeah, way in more In the corporate serious, boxes, yeah. like yeah, it was a lot more. What sort of things they ask you? Is it like psyches? Or just yeah, like, they're psyche. Yeah, I think more when you are like the the psyche parts are like more when you are like like they come to your house. Like those those were pretty cruisy. Well, for me they were, and they were they were real good. Like they were real down to earth. They're good. Like they're more like. For example, I had one, I had a Zoom with one club and they asked me to s- talk about my life in a book. Nah. Tell them about a, like my life have so guess far, my, club. my footy journey in a book. And they said, journey, if you had a chat, like in each chapter, what would like each heading be? Jeez, that's a, that's a very hard question. Yeah, off it is, the top isn't it? Of the, yeah. yeah. And then another one was like, I was with a club, like say, um, if you'd like to get, like if you got, if you got to pick where you want to get drafted, what are your top three clubs in order? I was like one, oh, probably Collingwood because like the atmosphere and the crowd they bring. Mm. And I was like two Geelong, so I go for Geelong, and then third, use obviously because he's Rooney. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. But like, <laughs> so that club was good. But um, yeah, like, like there's there's a few that that come and go, but no, nah, they're they're pretty good. They they're good people, and if you if you get along with them and just really be yourself, so it's, so it's good. Mm. What um. Well, speaking of like following the footy this year, is there any players that you guys have like looked at? And obviously, Dacos comes to mind, or anyone in yeah. that young player that you go, yeah. fucking hell, like you can come in and have this impact straight away. Like you don't have to do that, and yeah. you know things take time for different players, but yeah. it is possible to. I feel like for you guys now to come in and have immediate impact, and no matter what club you go, no matter what yeah. pick you are, like even yeah. um, Nick Martin from Essendon. Like yeah. I always look at this guy, I'm like. He was a rookie or a TPS. Was he rookie? He was a Perth like a boy, yeah. yeah. He was a um like a mid season pickup or something like that. Yeah. He's come in and been incredible. Yeah. yeah. Um. Obviously, looking at Sheasel last year and playing with him and against him yep. all year. Um. And then watching the impact he has. Um. That was probably the key one. And obviously, like Dacos and all those sort of boys. But Jake, Jakey Salego, my good mate. Um. Yeah. He went like pick thirty six, and it was like. The shadow of um his best mate Tyler Sonsi, mm. all his all his juniors, and um he comes in and plays basically every game. So Adelaide, Adelaide, yeah, yeah. yeah so um that's probably another one. Just putting in the work. He said um it's a whole different environment to juniors, and yeah, you just got to put in the work. It was the main thing. He reckons that's such a good point. Like, have you guys spoke to besides you know that story there and that anecdote? Like, have you yeah. guys kept in touch with any of the guys that you've played with, been drafted with, that have given you a bit of an insight in what it's like? 
Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Obviously, um, having two of my good mates from Bendigo, Jace, Gilby and Harvey, like obviously being in the system this year and- Who are they, sorry? Uh, J- Jason Gilby's with GWS. Yep. And then um, Harvey Gallagher's doggies. Yeah, I was going to say. And then Longy. <laughs> Who's Longy? <laughs> no Long. No Long. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't know their fucking nicknames, no, 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 mate. Okay. No Long. <laughs> okay. No Long. Um, no Long. He's at West Coast. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, obviously, like, Sheezel, obviously, the impact he has had from the get-go from round one. Ashcroft. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, and Longy, too. Like, he's he went he went one of the last picks on the night. Was he the last? Yeah, I reckon he yeah, it was somewhat last one of the, one or two last. Um, and like to see that, like he's played like nearly every, he's played most more games than like anyone that's wow. gone really this year. So like it just shows like at the end of the day, he's all got the same opportunity. Doesn't matter what pick you go. Like honestly, just get in there, put the work in, and it obviously pays off. And he's done a great job to get where he is, and he's just signed on too. So it's Good so it's huge. Massive, yeah. But I can tell you now, they don't give a fuck where you get picked yeah, up. One hundred percent. So many. Yeah, especially like I feel like nearly rookies get because they think about them like, um, yeah. and like, like they love uh, coaches love rookies because yeah. they're like you know worked hard to yeah. be there. Yeah, and, and they're just do- going to continue. And they to just work hard. they just get yeah, like, for sure. Like, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Um, what about players that you guys watch this year that like you aspire to your game? Like who's <sighs> players like that? Um, I look at Cozzy Pickett a fair bit. Yeah, I love Cozzy. Yeah, those sort of players, those small forwards that put a bit of pressure on, love to kick snags. Um, yeah, love a bit of argy bargy as well. Mm. Um, yeah, Cozzy's a main one, and Tom Papley, um, Cody Waitman, those yeah, those sort of players. And obviously my Pies man, so um, Jamie Elliott and Bobby and Guinea when he's in. You and Cody will be fighting for spots next year. <laughs> yeah, that, imagine that little two one two combo. That'd be very nice. I'd yeah, like it would that. actually. Um, on Papley by far like I I'm just a footy lover I mm. love players like you that just have this you know um, a bit of that uh, grit yeah. a bit of the see you next Tuesday sort of attitude yeah. that you can just like Papley I, I, I think he's one of my most favourite players like yeah. Toby Papley yeah. Um, yeah. Zach Butters yeah these guys like to play watch them play a bit of that yeah. there um, Harley do you have any of that in you? yeah I'll, I'll, yeah I reckon I do yes. yeah I yeah, know I love it yeah. Um, yeah. Well, same. I really probably look at like the Dusty Martins, mm. Christian Matraka, um, like that seventy percent midfield and the thirty percent go forward. Forward. Yeah. Mm. Like. Um, yeah. Obviously. Like. Even Nat Fife. Like he was. Like he's brown though. Years. Like. Um, like I followed him very closely. I thought like, he's aerial contest. Like he'd he'd, ta- he'd love to take a hanger. Like he's he's tough. He's he's explosive and yeah. No, he's really impactful. So. Um, yeah, I love those type of players and also players that are that are there when the game's there to be won. Mm. So, um, yeah, <coughs> like exactly in that bit of cheek, what I was talking about. So, yeah. The um, the thing I love about um, watching you play is the the aerial stuff. Like, I didn't, probably didn't see that. You don't really see a lot of midfielders, like you said, Nat Fife is probably one yep. of them that does that. But you, how tall are you? Bit, like 187. Oh, 187? Yeah, 186, 187. Yeah, so you're a big yeah. boy. Um, the fend off with the, with the hanger stuff as well. Keeping that aerial ability, I was again me and Steve chatting before about yep. um, your Steve. old man, <laughs> yeah, Rowdy, yeah, one of the best hangers. He, he was on the footy show, was he, for doing his hangers? Yeah, he's just sending his own tapes to the footy yeah. show. That's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's a big part of your game. Yeah, um, is it practice or is it natural? Um, oh, probably natural. Yeah, and obviously you still practice it a bit too, but obviously footy's always been me, and it's always has a has a spot in me, and from the get go, it's always. It's always been in my world and it's always been something that I've done. So it's come naturally with me and obviously being doing it a lot, like really frequently, it's kind of come with it all too. So yeah. Huge. No clubs named, but if you could go dream situation next year, um, you walk into an AFL club, give me a top three numbers you'd like to pick. Probably four, six and nine. I really like number four. Four yeah, is my like favourite number. Seven. I think I, I like you four in the seven though as well. You do? Yeah. Yeah, right. Maybe add that to the list. Yeah. Well, um, I like five of all five of all my juniors, seven, um, and I'd go one. I like you in the one. I like you in the two as well. Did you wear two for school? Yes, you, I did. Yeah. 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 The numbers, man. <laughs> what about you? What if you have to choose? Okay, three? if I go back? Yeah, you go back. Go back in time. I, <laughs> this is a, you, you could get me on this all day. I, 
I really loved my finishing number. I loved 43. Yeah, I love that rookie mentality. I don't know. I just love that. I went, when I played school footy my first year, I got 28. I was that dude. Oh, that's the worst it. number, oh, no. bro. I was that <laughs> 28, 38, and 48 are like the worst numbers. Oh, you oh can... mate. Oh, I didn't want to put it on. No. <laughs> it's so bad. But um, no, I'm a big one with numbers. I think that obviously being blessed, um, you know, with you guys, you you know, extremely, uh, worked extremely hard, but you be high picks, you'll probably get some, some great numbers. So yeah. I, when I... I just want you to promise me one thing. When you get picked up and you know where you're going, yeah. if there is a dilemma with numbers and you need someone to sort of chat with about that, just call me and I'll help you through it. <laughs> I'll take, if there's no numbers left from two to 10, you take I'll 43. go 43. Okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. I like that. Okay. Done. I like that. What about outside footy boys? Who are you guys? What are your interests? What do you do? Are you, um, obviously you're a country boy, mate. Do you, do you get like to get out on the farm? Um, How does he do it? <laughs> oh, mate, I was, used to do a bit of track to work, but um, no, nah, I've. Um, <laughs> that, on that's the... really like embarrassing, you know. Why? Like, like before, what I we're down at the coffee shop downstairs. <laughs> yeah. I said, "Do you want a coffee?" He said, "Yeah, can I get a cappuccino with vanilla syrup in it?" I was like, "That's <laughs> I'm not ordering that. That's like physically like they don't even do it here. They like, <laughs> must do it in the country. I don't know where they do it. If he does get picked up in a Melbourne club, you got to change that order, man. Yeah, I'm just... telling you now, you won't debut round one. If you <laughs> order that. That's yeah, yeah without, right. I reckon if you told West Coast that was your order, they wouldn't pick you. <laughs> Maybe that's what you should do. That's, where's the Where's yeah. the door? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, country boy, what do you yeah. get up to down there? Yeah. Um, do you obviously... ride motorbikes? No. Oh, not really. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll obviously get out on the Murray River or we got the base. You wakeboarding? Yeah, I'm a wakeboarder. Okay. So, yeah, get out there, enjoy that. Um, it's nice and peaceful. It's good when the weather's weather performs for you. Um, yeah, and just socialise out there on the boat and, mm. yeah, just just enjoy it really, soak it all in. That's elite. I, I'm a bigger Chuka man. Obviously, yeah. um, Andrew Walker doing great things up there at, yep. at Chooksy. He yep, just retired okay. recently. Yeah, yep, yep. Just won a flag, so he's a good man. As well, hang him up. What about you, Wado? What's your weekends look like? Um, oh, yeah, I'm pretty kicked back. I've yeah. got no other sports on, so um, his missus got him on a leash. <laughs> oh, <are> you, <laughs> she plays AFLW. Actually. Does she really? Yeah. What's her name? Uh, Keely Sherratt, Carlton. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I. Uh, that's great. Hey, did you just get picked up? Uh, or she been there for a while? Second season. Wow, so, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, she's doing all right. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm not sure what he's giggling at. That's really exciting, though, man. Good stuff. Yeah. You get to do a lot of the games? Um, not really, because I'm pretty busy. Of course. But um, no, I'll go this weekend. Did Colin. you meet through footy, obviously? She or lives what? around Ringwood, so okay. I sort of met through there. Um, yeah. She's pretty local, but yeah. Just like to kick back over the weekends. Got a wide variety of mates, so I just like to see them. Got nothing else to do special. Just keep busy. That's really cool. I, I, that would have to be the first... Player. People, someone was saying that the other day, actually. Yeah, that's... Joking? I feel I, like there's someone else in there. I, not that I can think of. Yeah, I think that would have to be the first. So that's exciting. <laughs> we'll, um, if we can debut that, we will. And that's, uh, that's great. What about, boys? I always finish with this when I'm chatting to my, um, my mates. Are you into movies? You don't watch movies or series, or you do? I'm not much of a movie man, to be honest. I don't... I hard... I, hard, I make it... I can't speak. <laughs> I, I find it hard to like, stay, yeah, stay okay. concentrated for the whole time. So that's, <laughs> man, this is what TikTok's doing to the young generation. Yeah, like, even me. You reckon? Just because they're just short ones. Like, even I struggle now to, like, watch a film that goes for, like, an hour because you just want to keep your brain yeah. ticking. Yeah, right. Yeah. Do you watch movies? Oh, I watch a few, yeah. 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 What's your favourite? Or series <sighs> that you've seen this year? Um, oh, I, I got around Out of Banks. That was pretty good. What did you think? Do you ever watch that or no? I got through half of that. I didn't, oh, I didn't, didn't like it? I didn't love it. I, I'm a bit more of, like, I like dark stuff i liked yeah. you ozark like dharma then yellowstone dharma did the murder murder like, i actually um, like dharma Jeffrey yeah dharma you like what he, he's you? about or you like the film <laughs> no no not what he's about oh, no. just like the film like i actually could stay concentrated okay. for the whole time and it's that, interesting that's fantastic that's that's a good answer what's on for it then boys you got a six weeks to to go um five yeah. six weeks to go what's the plans to um to do it's sort of probably going to be the last sort of five weeks of normality for a while yeah um, I'll just stay busy. Mm. Might go up and see Jedi Walter, see if he's still alive up there, up Where's in the he? Gold Coast. Okay, is this, uh, who's this? Jed Walter. Yep. Do you know Jedi? No, I don't. Really? It's no. a big boy. Oh, is this the uh, uh, Gold Academy? Coast? Yeah. yeah, yes. Oh, he's a looks like a fantastic young man. Yeah, yeah nah, he's a good yep. fella. He's, um, uh, six weeks or so until, until it's so probably just relax and just enjoy the ride. And while I'm at home, 
soak it up with mates and and family, and then I'm heading up to Darwin through. Um, I think that from the seventh or so, yep. to a few of my mates at home are playing in the footy season up there again. So I just do a week with them and watch them on the sad day. So yeah. Mm. Well, no matter what for you, no matter where you go, you'll be moving to Melbourne or yeah Perth or wherever it, yep. wherever it is. So mm. it's going to be your last period being at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So um, yeah, just trying to trying to enjoy it really and live it while I can. Are you ready for that? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Throughout throughout your throughout your life, you gotta you gotta make gotta make the move. You gotta move yeah. out at one stage. So um, yeah. Obviously, there's gonna be heaps of challenges that gets thrown across all everyone, of our yeah. everyone. Yeah, obviously. And um, yeah. I'm I'm keen for it and keen to get out and into the real world. Yeah. It's exciting. You mate, your boys gonna be that fucking tired anyway. You won't. Yeah. You won't even know what to do. Do you reckon you'll stay at home or you move out? Um, depends where I go. I think. Yeah. Um, I think yeah, I'll probably move out no matter what. Sort of. Yeah. Want to make a change as well. Yeah. Anything I'll probably struggle with is the cooking side of it, but I'm sure you'll the clubs there. will take good care. And mate, you'll learn so much. They yeah, teach it's you good. That's what I'm keen to move everything. out. Everything. Hey, I'm really excited for you guys. I really appreciate you coming in today. No, Unbelievable. Time. Best of luck for for next year. So. Um, pumped and yeah honored to, to have you in yeah, thanks for having us i know you's um uh ripping kids but you've got good key, good heads on your shoulders so i can't wait to see what happens in 2024 yep. you've always got a home here at dylan friends at uh at clubby sports we love you boys thanks Legend. thank you thanks, thanks for, for having us. thanks boys Cheers.